Transmitters again here for the second on the program. Class four contest though uh, on this occasion, and uh, we've got three first starters in the field as well. Happy good guys. Uh, we'll jump from barrier number ten into Joe Marrera. He's uh, a three-time winner here, and two of them course and distance. Amazing Rocky should push forward off the inside gate. Run up to can't stop the feeling last time out. The debutants, Colasale. Well, that's how you'd say if you're Italian. If you're French, you'd say colossal. But we'll go with Colasale. Blinkers on and a tongue tie as well. Party warrior. Uh, debuts, as does Viva Hunter. Goodmanship was fifth behind Kaying Spirits at last time out. Very sweet orange with the blinkers back on, but wide gate looks trouble for him. Happily Friends should, could push forward. And Demons Rock as well from barrier number 12. He's a three time winner. They've all been on the all weather over the 1200 metres. So. Where are we looking here, Tom, with the three debutants in the field as well? Yeah, there's a bit of speed in this race, and uh, Party Warrior wasn't the quickest out in his most recent trial, but uh, has uh, shown good enough pace to get uh, handy, so we'll see what happens to him out of gate number five with the hood on. Viva Hunter wasn't far off the speed last time out, and Colosale drawn awkwardly in seven, but there should be good enough speed with the likes of Amazing Rocky, who can go forward. Very sweet orange, he's always there or thereabouts. Uh, horses like Super Commander. Now, he actually led last time out, but he's nowhere near the speed on that uh, speed map there from gate number 11. But uh, pay should be genuine. We'll start off here then with uh, Super Commander, um, the first one to have a look at. This is him running second with Happy Time Paul finishing in fourth place. And very sweet orange as well. It continues to uh, drop down the handicap now to a mark of 45. Yeah, so he's getting right down. But so Super Commander, from what he originally arrived on, he, he is now down to 53 here. I thought this he's, he's getting to a, a race where a rating where he could actually win and it was a nice run from him he's drawn a little bit awkwardly but um Look, I'm going to take a chance with him on a, in the numbers. I haven't got him on top. No, I didn't put him in at all in the end, uh, Super Commander. And um, happy time. He can be a little bit funny around at the gates. Uh, I left him out as well. OK. What about uh, Happler of Friends then, uh, Tom? This is him runner-up to oversubscribe last time out. He was favoured in actual facts. Um, didn't get the clearest of runs. Yeah, he didn't. And uh, once he got into the clear, he did finish off uh, quite OK. And uh, he had to get off heels at the, the 200 uh, metres there behind uh, the, the tiring horse. But really dashed home late. Uh, gate, I think, is going to favour him, but I thought there were a few other ones that could feature here, Paul, so he didn't quite make it in. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same, Tom. 16 star maiden, but look, he's not far away. No. What about uh, Amazing Rocky then, uh, Paul? Uh, we can see him at the trials uh, now, but his last start effort behind Can't Stop the Feeling was pretty good. Yeah, very good, and Can't Stop the Feeling's been running really well recently. I uh, thought this was a really nice, easy trial. He's got the coveted barrier number one. Uh, Jack Purton aboard, so he looks the idea of the winner for me. He was well back to last to start, where he wasn't the quickest away, and then he got a bit keen, but I thought he stayed on well, and he was very quick out of the gates in this uh, trial at Happy Valley and did it nicely over the final stages. He's certainly the horse I'd be wanting to play around with the cues with. OK, off the inside gate, yeah, certainly looks positive for him, doesn't it? Benno Young, Zach Purton. Paul, at this stage, he's our favourite as well. Yeah, I've got him on top. I think he's clearly on top. Uh, amazing Rocky. He looks very well placed, uh, very well placed from his draw. Uh, Super Commander, we're taking a chance on him because he has drawn wide, but he's such a well-rated horse now and he's going really well for the Ferrara stable. Uh, good Manship is another improver. He's only had the limited starts. So I thought his run behind Kaying Spirit was good last time. And Happy Time uh, did hit the line strongly last time. So two, three, eight and nine. Take a little chance with uh, one of the first starters here. In fact, got both the first starters in the, the numbers, but Party Warrior, I thought his New Zealand trial was uh, good prior to arriving. I haven't minded his uh, trials uh, here. It wasn't the quickest out last time out, but to uh, show good pace to uh, get forward shortly after. So five Party Warrior did each way price nearly 40 to 1 at the moment. Amazing Rocky, obviously the horse to beat. Happy Good Guys is dropping in grey, but there was uh, reported uh, respiratory noises with him last uh, time out, but goes well in the grey course and distance. And Viva Hunter's also trialled well, trialled up three times in New Zealand prior to arriving. Gate speed's been OK, and I thought he looked quite good over the final stages of most recent trials. So five, two, one and six. A little bit from column A, a little bit from column B from me. I've got Viva Hunter in the numbers. Um, I thought his trials were OK, but I thought maybe an opportunity for Happel of Friends to break through as well in race number two here at the Valley. That's a class four again over the 1,000 metres. <laughs> 